What's good guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I got some exciting news, man. If you are a 3D animator and you want to do your animation on any engine, it is very much possible. I spent four days, at least four days, trying to figure out how to use the control rig, how to, you know, set it up and all that. And guess what? I got it, all right? And uh, I'm here to, you know, try to pass on that information. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and like and all that. Now, I'm not going to go into full details on how I set it up. I just want to show you, you know, the template I built and it actually works properly. And then later on in my next video, I'm going to run down the whole nods and all that. It's crazy nods, man. And it's going to be for like an hour. So get ready. So I created this um, rig here. This is what we have here. Obviously, I have for... Um, the forward soft, which is basically you want to directly animate your character in Unreal Engine. And then we have the backward soft, which if you want to, you know, um, bake your animation and then try to manipulate, that's exactly what backward soft is. And I'm going to show you how it actually works. So this is my character. I just use Fate, Dr. Fate, because I'm using it for my next project. I subscribe for that as well. Now, as you can see, the legs are pretty much not in the right place. So let me just correct that real quick. I'm just going to go here. I actually just saw that. Tuh, funny, right? So I'm going to come over here to leg foot. All we just need to do is copy the position of the leg foot. Where's my left foot? There it is. That's much better. Even the toe, I'm going to copy the toe. I don't like the position of the toe. Mm. Yo, to be honest, this is this was really easy. I didn't... I mean, it wasn't easy at first, but um, when I studied it, it was like a piece of cake, bro. <laughs> I fully understand how to set this up. Like, I kid you not, man. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It, it's just... It's frustrating if you know you're trying to understand and there's no like guidance and all that like the only idea they didn't have any guidance you know like i i looked at that there was just nothing they they had the mannequin but that didn't really help me but um yeah i was just trying different things and i eventually figured it out okay that looks better so i'm gonna compile this and save so by the way i set my control rig to i uh, fk mode i don't like to use ik just because you know i like to have like you know animation more advanced you know what i mean so basically this is the hips everything works uh, if i bend my character like this it works it jumps you know it does all the things that an animator will be able to do and then this actually rotates properly so everything actually works even the fingers work you know i i can show you guys here everything just works and your character is all set up to you know for animation now, let me show you, you know, some of the nods that I set up. So, obviously, you have to set up the forward solve, which is basically directly animating, uh, uh, you know, in Unreal Engine without no baked animation. So, basically, you just... <laughs> anyways, you don't have to know this now. I'm just showing you guys, like, this template I have to build. And later on, I'll go in details on how I actually set this up. And then, we have the leg area and the hands. And also, I likewise set up the facial animation. So, obviously, for Fate here, I only did his eyes. But um, I actually set up, like, a template. So, you know, if I'm transferring, if I bring in a new character, I don't have to do all this process again. It automatically does that for me. So, you have, I have the brown, down, left, right, inner, up, jaws, and all that facial stuff going on on the face, you know. So these are all morph targets. So I just translated that. And now if I go to my forward soft here, so it's basically just doing the inversion of the, sorry, the backward soft is basically doing the inversion of the forward soft. So instead of the pelvis here, you know, the hips and all that. So yeah, it eventually, you know, worked out properly for me. And uh, I was just excited that I'm able to fully animated in Unreal Engine. I don't have to use any external 3D, you know, uh, software. It's crazy, right? Anyways, and by the way, this is a Mixamo rig, okay? So, Cinema 4D, they have like this Mixamo uh, uh, rig that you can actually do. So, you know, I just use that and, uh, you know, rig quickly. So, this is our character. Um, 
Mr. Fade here. Let's go to the sequencer. And um, if I go to sequencer and I add in like uh, the control rig, asset bait, fade rig, you can see that it's all in here. So if I just want to bend down, everything is here. I can fully animate him and um, yeah, pretty much do whatever I want. Okay. So even, even the eyes here, I'll show you guys. So the curve values actually works. So let's see. Ooh, my man looks so pissed. Shit. Oh, what's going on there? So I have this eye blink. So if I put this like this, see that it closes. So everything just works out smoothly for me. So now let's add in a baked animation. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead to delete this. And then we are going to add, I already have a big animation. So let me just, actually not a big animation, but just, you know, an animation. Where's our character? He's going to be running away, man. How the hell you go up there? Okay, it's because I keyframed it. Okay, gotcha. Anyways. Okay, yeah. I, 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 was, I, I was animating, so I just keyframed. Okay. So now let's add in the animation. I have animation here, fake one. Oh, by the way, I'll just go back here, add it here, fake one. And then maybe I'll make this to start at 650. So when we play this, as you can see, we can't really animate, uh, manipulate anything just because, you know, this is just playing the, the, the animation that was baked. And look at this, the arms are clipping. You see that? So again, if you don't have the control, you can't manipulate, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to manipulate. So we're gonna right click on the fate uh, character and then say bake to control rig, fate rig. So bake control rigs, I'm not gonna, you know, um, remove the, the keys or reduce the keys. So now you can see that our character is fully you know, we have the control rig already in place. Now, in order for me to actually add some animation to this current one, we are gonna use what we call addictive animation. So we're gonna come over here and then click on addictive. And when you click on addictive, it will create another, you know, a set of um, manipulators that you can actually use. And this is the most important thing you have to do. You have to right click on the new addictive and then say key this section. If you don't do this, it will actually be, you know, animating the, the baked uh, uh, sequence that you actually did. So, yeah, remember to do that. Okay. So now when we play this, and I can come, I can actually just, you know, uh, click on my control rig and basically just move him like this. And then, you know, I want him to maybe also touch the floor. So you can just drag this forward and maybe just have him bend down a little bit. Right. So you can see how impressive this is. Like, I don't even I, I, like, bro, I'm I'm just so happy because I was using Cinema 4D. And guess what? Cinema 4D is, I mean, if you import to Unreal Engine, you, you have to go back and forth. And it was just stressful. It's kind of discouraging to be honest so you know so as you can see i just quickly adjusted my character and i can actually just you know maybe turn the leg like this and then bring it to the side like this so look at how easy it is to get this pose like bro <laughs> quite impressive eh nah, you just look weird with this i don't know why it looked like that maybe bring it back i guess but yes you, you can actually do that so now if I play this, see, that actually worked properly. Like there is no, no error, no nothing. It's crazy. And then guess what? You can actually add some keyframes and, you know, adjust, say, for example, when it lands like this, right? So let's just add a keyframe to the hips and then we can actually reset to zero. So now let's see this. <laughs> looks weird but apparently that's what you can do so you see how easy it is right so you know this is very this is going to be very helpful 
if you're if you're trying to you know make a lot of man manipulations in your animation so you know keep in mind for that and um yeah man it's just exciting you know that i'm able to do this i don't have to stress my life send going back to cinema 40 and all that so looks pretty good to me looks pretty good to me anyways this is my next project so i'm just showing you guys a little bit of something there but uh you know it's nothing much i'm going to show you anyways so i'm going to save all this and then save so ladies and gentlemen um i'm gonna do a full tutorials on how to set up that control rig and uh, some of the problems that you might face and how to fix those problems okay so yeah Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace.